Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you've all had an amazing start to your weeks. Today on this Monday, we're going to be delivering a nice and chilled out Cardano video. We're going to try and keep it short and sweet. You guys will know that I'm expecting a big move to the upside. We're still absolutely expecting this. Things are looking beautiful. We're really going to be reiterating that point in this video video. Those of you that have been following me uh, for a while now will remember this call we made on the 19th of July when we were calling for a similar thing to what we're calling today. This of course involved uh, this falling wedge over here and we did indeed say that you were going to break this. This is a trend reversal um, pattern that is playing out and you're doing the exact same thing today in the exact same manner ladies and gentlemen. The reason I'm bringing this up, this was the video we made on the 19th of July. Let me just show you uh, the 19th of July was here ladies and gents so this was the 19th of july you had this sell-off which caused many people to say the exact same thing that they're saying today that i'm wrong that it's not going to happen and then seeing really is believing and we did indeed see those new all-time highs we saw price continuation in the exact same manner that i believe you're going to see it now ladies and gentlemen we're exceptionally excited we're going to be reiterating this we are of course going to dive into um, bitcoin bitcoin looks fantastic the market as a whole looks fantastic we've shown you so many macro patterns at play whether that be the uh, reverse head and shoulders that bitcoin's currently in whether that be the cup and handle structures all over the place the falling wedges things look fantastic and i really want to spend quite a bit of time reiterating that in this video the break the big move is coming we're also going to talk um, about just the amount of hate that cardano receives and why this might be a reason why it hasn't quite appreciated in the move that we've seen up for bitcoin and the market as a whole in the same way that your altcoins like solana and many others out there have i was listening to the bankless podcast and we'll talk about this towards the end of the video once we've got the charting out the way of and essentially, they always go out of their way to not mention Cardano. They were talking about Ethereum competitors, and this isn't just the Bankless podcast that do this. And by the way, I'm a fan of the Bankless podcast. I'm a fan of Ethereum. I just happen to think that Cardano um, is a serious competitor. Um, and we'll get into it towards the, the, the end of the video. But there's a lot of hate surrounding Cardano, Charles Hoskinson. And this is one reason um, why the price doesn't appreciate in the sort of short-term time frames in the same way your Solanas and other coins with real media backing, big exchanges, etc., etc., do. And the fact that Cardano has maintained the, the number three spot, it's now number four, but only marginally, in my opinion, should be number three, um, and has this kind of negativity attached to it is a real testimony to Cardano's strength. So let's start with the charts, ladies and gentlemen, in much the same way that we called on the 19th of June. Those of you who have followed me for a while now will remember this video. We are calling for it now. And when we made that call, we got a slap in the face and we sold off. You saw a similar thing when we made this call over here. You guys who are following me on Twitter um, will know that we said, look, this is the break of the falling wedge. You're going to come back to retest it as this decent resistance as support before we start to see that new trend really kick in. And we're yet to see the new trend kick in. We've got to be fair here, guys. You are still technically in a downtrend. You have failed to make a new low. But you've also failed to make a new high. And this is a very, very common trait. You'll usually pause, and I'll show you um, as this previous um, kind of breakout as an example. This was your high here. You fall short of it, and then you eventually break out of it. And once that ball gets rolling, guys, it really does get rolling. And of course, Bitcoin is largely going to permission this. Bitcoin is looking beautiful. It is literally doing the same thing that it did here. Can you see this? It comes up to its all-time highs. Creates this kind of cup and handle structure before continuation. Can you see this? Comes up to its previous, not all-time highs, sorry, local highs here that is very, very strong area of resistance. Um, comes up to it, touches it, bounces, and then uh, sets up for the rally high. And this is what you've got taking place as we speak on the charts for Bitcoin. We've shown you so much over um, the past couple of days in regards to Bitcoin and why we're so bullish. You can't ignore what's going on. Not only are the technicals bullish, the fundamentals are bullish. We showed you Francis Hunt, the crypto sniper's cot indicator, um, which is the commitment of trade indicator, which has just flashed a huge accumulate signal. This is coming, guys. You've just got to be patient. I think when I say things, people think it's going to happen within 12 hours. The video we put out yesterday, lots of people saying, oh, you're wrong. 
you, you, that call can't be made yet. We have been wrong about things on this channel. We're human beings. I'd like to find somebody among us that hasn't. Um, but you can't say we're wrong or right until it's played out. This thing has to play out. And one thing that I'm really noticing, I'm going to remark on it, is the people I know that have been holding Cardano for a long time, like myself, have no worry at all. And that is largely because they're in profits, hugely. Um, but it's usually the people that are new to the game, new to the crypto space that are worrying. You need to understand what's going on here. This is a bit of an off topic. We are going to get to the charts. I always do this. I ramble on. I watched a documentary last night at about two in the morning. I stayed up till about four in the morning. I haven't had much sleep as a result of this whilst I was kind of in and out of charts watching this documentary about the creation of money. How money came into existence, the creation of the Federal Reserve, prior to that, the Bank of England. It's unbelievable what's going on here, guys. There is a real um, revolution taking place. And we're going to cover this in a video that we're probably going to bring out later, where I'm just pointing out, you know, Bitcoin could be priceless. And that sounds ridiculous. But seriously, you can't put a price on freedom and financial freedom and sovereignty. We're going to cover that in another video. I don't want to bore you guys with that because you're all here to know what's going on with Cardano. Well, we've basically said it already. You're just doing this. This is what your next move, I believe, is going to look like. What we'll do... Let's take this off auto. Let's bring this down. And we are calling, by the way, those of you who have uh, followed my Elliott Wave theory and, and what we've kind of got mapped out for, Cardano, I don't have the chart on here because we mention it every single video. We are calling for this next leg. We're in your fifth wave of your Elliott Wave theory. Um, and we're, we're expecting within that fifth wave, you're on your third leg, which is typically your biggest. We believe you could see a five to six Cardano price in a short period of time, a matter of months or so. Now, that isn't certain, but if it does follow Elliott Wave Theory in a true fashion, we believe that's on the table. And can you see, this is the bar pattern um, that we overlaid. You're never going to get it 100% accurate, guys. Can you see how similar... This recovery that took place over here is to the one you're currently going through. It's undeniable, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what we're expecting for this move. The people that are saying we're wrong in the comment section, give it time. Be patient, please, by all means. And we absolutely applaud and respect and encourage adverse opinions in the comment section. Please watch out for the scammers. It's getting ridiculous. Um... But you've got to give it time to play out. We're not wrong or right yet. But what we have been is right. The reason I showed you this was to give you a little bit of confidence in what I'm saying, not to brag, because ultimately, you know, you guys benefit if I am right. Who benefits if I'm wrong? You know, maybe the people um, that turn up on the comment sections that probably don't even own Cardano anyway. So this is what we're looking at. Things look great. But like I say, you haven't yet put in that new height. It's coming. It's round the corner, ladies and gentlemen. You've got your clear downtrend with your, your lower lows and lower highs. You failed to make a lower low from this one. You've also failed to make a lower high. This is, you know, what you're essentially doing here is creating a bit of a triangle, showing indecision. But ultimately, what you do have is you have backing patterns to support um, what I'm saying here. There's so much. Go Please go and watch my other videos on Bitcoin, the reverse cup and... Uh, Reverse head and shoulders. I'll show you very quickly. So much going on here, guys. Things look absolutely great. And people are bearish. People are... This is a flipped up chart of Bitcoin. Can you see your left shoulder, your head, your right shoulder? This has a target to around about 76k, 77k. I think Plan B is also calling for that. So the, all roads are leading to Jerusalem, ladies and gentlemen. All the data is adding up. It's matching up. It's making sense. And this is what we're trying to show you in this video. I'd be gutted if people missed out on this. It doesn't just apply to Cardano. Of course, it applies to Bitcoin. Uh, in this regards, your altcoins are going to do better in terms of percentages. Certainly most of them are the ones with real value. So you you don't just need to be investing in Cardano. You can be investing in whatever altcoin you want that you've done your due diligence in. They're all going to appreciate uh, basically because Bitcoin's going to be going up and the whole market is, uh, the whole crypto space in terms of market cap is going to appreciate. It's coming, guys. Absolutely coming. We're certain of that. And in regards to Cardano, and we've, we've been sort of... Um, neglecting the actual product and what's going on it's about the ecosystem is coming the DeFi. we've already got the dgen stable coin which is something i'm super excited about there's so much on the horizon and people are negative and bearish i just don't understand it like i say time is going to be the 
uh, best teacher in this case. And really, you're doing the exact same thing. These sell-offs have played out in the exact same manner. What we'll do is we'll take this for Bitcoin just to show you this. I mean, guys, oh, <laughs> interesting. What the hell is going on here? Let's sort this out. Sort it out. Can you see this? This is a bar pattern. You've got the exact same thing at play, ladies and gentlemen. The exact same thing at play. And people are looking at this and they're going, no, nah, I don't think so. If you don't think so, that's fine. You are allowed to have a opposite opinion. I applaud it. But what I want to know is why don't you? Because share with us. There might be some information that we're missing. Um, but right now, like I say, all roads are leading to Jerusalem. We're expecting big things. We're expecting this breakout that's going to see price continuation. Now, now we've covered the charts. It's very basic what we're going over, but we, we've covered this so often. I'll very quickly also just show you on the daily, the MACD for Cardano. Bullish cross right there, ladies and gentlemen. MACD isn't the be all and end all, by the way, but this is uh, showing us, you know, you've just embarked with your first little impulse. If you look at what happens every time you're down in these regions and you form this bullish cross, you get a move to the upside, guys. This, it, 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 there's so much supporting data. I don't know how anybody can argue with that. Bitcoin is very much showing the same thing on the uh, daily RSI. I think it's also showing on the, uh, not RSI, sorry, MACD. Can you see this? Bullish cross, up you go. Bullish cross, up you go. And, and this is, you know, this this is what we're looking at. Things look fantastic. Now, in regards to um, Cardano, many people are saying, oh, it's not appreciated in the same way you can see Binance up 23%, Solana 13 It's not really done the same kind of appreciation. This has a lot to do with the fact that Cardano is actually quite a hated cryptocurrency. Certainly by the ETH maxis, certainly by other cryptocurrencies. People don't like Charles. Um, also, Polkadot people have quite a beef with. And this really comes back to Ethereum and its, its creation and how not only Charles, I think Gavin Wood from Polkadot actually wrote um, the Ethereum or, or created the Ethereum virtual machine. Um, Charles also played a pretty instrumental role in the creation of Ethereum, um, and they obviously went on to create their own projects. So someone like Bankless, the podcast that we were listening to that we we're actually a fan of, um, we just don't, I don't really think, I don't necessarily agree with the whole Ethereum is ultrasound money and the whole concept of Bankless I love, you know, moving away from these corrupt, horrible bankers that overcharge you for everything. But Ethereum's essentially doing a very similar thing in the way that you have to, I mean, it's getting to the point now where you actually get a better deal with using and sending money on a, certainly not cross-border, um, which is a huge argument to make, but using DeFi and Ethereum for most people is just unworkable. If you've got $100 to, to spend and play around with, forget it. You're going to lose half of that in gas fees on a good day. Um, financial, Traditional financial services actually offer you a, offer you a better um, deal. And, and Cardano is really the rising star, I believe, along with Polkadot. Solana is great. Uh, we're going to do a video on it. We, we own Solana. We own all these other smart contract protocols. Just for me, Cardano, I love what they're all about. I love the simplicity of setting up and running a node, essentially, um, to help decentralize and, and, and maintain the network. They're a tried and tested um, uh, blockchain, uh, and things, to me, look exceptionally bright. We've still got this whole ecosystem to come out of Cardano, and it's coming, ladies and gentlemen. We're in talks with a lot of different small individual projects that are going to be DeFi projects, DeFi coins to come out of Cardano. I'm unbelievably excited, and I think you should be too. And this is really the reason why Cardano's price hasn't appreciated. I don't think they're on Gemini. They're also not on FTX. I was reading a, a piece about why they aren't on FTX. Same sort of thing. They weren't on Coinbase for ages when there was a lot of other coins that were significantly worse um, than Cardano. In fact, some of them just had were complete memes getting listed on Coinbase, and Cardano didn't seem to do that. And it's because they don't play the game. They don't play this sell-yourself-out game. They're, they're very loyal to what they believe in. And I absolutely applaud that. They're not on FTX. They're also not on uh, Gemini, I believe. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I don't, I've not seen them on Gemini. Yeah, they're not on Gemini or FTX. So two big exchanges. Cardano just doesn't seem to be listed on. And this is a real telling factor. And with all the hate, with all the negativity that's thrown towards Cardano, it maintained the third spot. And I believe it still should be there today. I mean, Binance Smart Chain, it's done great, um, but there's a lot of issues with it. Um, 
certainly if we're, we're, we're looking to, towards crypto as a decentralized asset, a decentralized thing, Binance Smart Chain just isn't that. Um, I'm not hating on it. I think it's great. I like PancakeSwap. I used it when Ethereum was... Uh, Uniswap just became too unusable in terms of gas fees. And uh, you can check your gas fees on MetaMask. It just made me absolutely sick to death. Um, so that's really where we're at. This was just a short and sweet update. Just to kind of keep that fire in your bellies. People get annoyed because it doesn't happen instantly. Allow me to be harsh, but be, be cruel to be kind here. If you get annoyed because things don't happen like that in the investment realm, you are not going to do well as an investor. Period. The whole concept of investing is investing. Putting your money into something and letting it grow. You're not trading. You shouldn't be... If, you, if you're new to the crypto space, please don't trade. You will get wrecked because you're trading against people that already know the direction the market's going to go in. If a step down from them is people that have been doing this for years and years and years and know what science to look for and how markets work, you're at the bottom of that pile and you're 90, I think 5% of traders or 85% of traders lose money. That's a fact. And that's in the traditional realm. Amplify that into the crypto space. You're just fighting a losing battle. You're going to make your money in hodling. Remember, nothing I say on this channel is financial advice. It's all just my opinion, and I want you guys to make your own decisions. What I am for you is a tool in your arsenal to help you potentially make those decisions. It's not advice. I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm showing you the reasons for why I believe what I believe. Another quick comment is people calling for a $10 card. I know price being unrealistic. You guys know that we've said $7.50 for a very long time now. $7.50 to $10 we think you're going to get to potentially within this year. Certainly with, within whenever this kind of bull cycle ends. I think that's exceptionally realistic. And they go, no, the market cap will be way too high. It'll be Ethereum's market cap. Those people saying that were the same people that said that Bitcoin could never get to a trillion dollars in terms of market cap because the market cap was too high. Bitcoin's going to go well above a trillion dollars. Ethereum's going to get to a trillion dollars. One day Cardano and these other... Um, smart contract uh, protocols and other cryptocurrencies are going to get to a trillion dollars. Not talking this year, I'm talking into the future. Because right now, guys, there is so much going on. Forget even as an investment behind the scenes. There's a, there's a whole ethical, financial, economic um, combustion taking place right now. And it, 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 it's really an honor to be a part of it. It's an honor to be on YouTube with you guys and have a very um, loyal and um, attentive following and I really just want to say a big thank you on that note that is really all I have for you in this video ladies and gents I hope you've enjoyed the content I've certainly enjoyed delivering it things are looking beautiful guys be a beautiful and we're still expecting this continuation I believe you are going to see it you're doing the exact same thing that you did here showing you this this call that we made on the 19th of July to really illustrate the and give you a bit of confidence in what I'm saying. That's all I have for you guys. I'm going to love and leave you on that note. Enjoy the rest of your Mondays, and I hope you've all got a fantastic week planned ahead of you. I'll catch you in the next YouTube video, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching.